Well, good morning and welcome to a very wet, very miserable, very overcast 1st of December. Today, I'm going to give you an update on our vertically mounted solar panels. How much power have they generated? Has it been worth it? Am I going to continue doing the experiment? These are all the questions we're going to answer today. So let's start with the simplest one. How have they been doing? So as we've moved into the autumn, the fall, the generation numbers have dropped off sharply. And there's a really good reason for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an app that I've shown sometime before on the channel called Sun on Track. Now with Sun on Track, you can get a visualization of where the sun is going to be. In fact, today, a visualization of where the sun is behind the clouds. And this will show you why we're not getting a lot of generation at this time of the year. So if I hold up my phone there, you'll see if I scan round. So from about seven o'clock in the morning, the sun literally goes behind the trees. It tracks around. There we are at 11.27. This, that's where the sun is, though you can't see it. And it's going to continue behind the trees until it sets at about 15.50 this afternoon. So really all we're getting from these panels during this part of the year is just ambient light, a very, very small amount. But let's take a look at the whole year so far. Now we started this experiment in the last days of May and so far we've generated 191.33 kilowatt hours. Now that's not a huge amount of power, but it's all free. As we went through the summer, we had months where we would generate sort of 50 kilowatt hours a month. But as we've got into November, it's dropped down to our massive 2.76 kilowatt hours. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, why do you bother? Well, it's still 2.6 kilowatts that I'm not buying from the grid. And to be honest, I don't have anywhere to store these over the winter. So they may as well sit up on the fence here. Now, why am I doing this? Well, not everybody can either afford nor has the roof space to be able to put solar panels on their roof. So I'm running this experiment to find out if this is viable, even on a small scale. Now, just to put this into perspective, this entire solution, if you were to go and buy it today, can be bought for less than 200 pounds. These are secondhand panels. I have a small micro inverter and those together will generate power and supply it to your house. There really isn't anything else you need to add. Maybe some brackets to hold them on your fence or you could just prop the panels up against the fence if you wanted to. It is a really low cost solution that just about anybody can implement. And the great thing about this solution is you don't need an electrician to set it up for you. Now, I'm gonna do a full video on this solution in a couple of weeks, maybe when I get a bit better weather, but I'll show you how the whole system works and how you can build a system yourself for less than 200 pounds. I hope this has been useful. I'm gonna head back indoors where it's a little bit warmer. In fact, it's so warm that the dogs are currently sitting in front of the fire. But I hope this has been useful for you. If it has, please do hit that like and subscribe button. It does mean an awful lot to me to help me build the channel. And if I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care, bye-bye.